Hi guys, we're doing a what's in my bag video. Since I got a new bag a couple of months ago, I've been like nesting in it, you know what I mean? Do you guys do that? I'm kind of obsessed with kind of like curating the things that go in my bag because actually I've always found that it helps me because I'm a really anxious person. It helps me if I know that I have everything I might ever need in my bag. This is my bag and I love my bag, but I know all of you are not crazy bag ladies, maybe, like me. That's fine, you do you. I will be over here just enjoying my descent into bag lady madness. If you would like to join me on that descent, at the end of this video, I'll actually go into detail about this bag and kind of give a review. So if that's what you came for and you could care less about my bag hoard, I will put the timestamp right here to the bag review and you can go ahead for that. But if you wanna see what's in my bag first, that's where we're heading. Okay, so you might notice that I'm filming this with two cameras. Uh, just don't judge my sweatpants, all right? Okay, cool. I have a real people top and sweatpants on. Actually, this is a pool cover-up, but nobody needs to know that. God, I've really let myself go. The first thing that I have in here is my iPad. My iPad isn't always in here. It is in here right now though, because I'm going away this weekend. And I just really love reading on my iPad. Currently, I'm reading In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, if you're interested. Next in here, I have this little Victoria's Secret bag in which I keep all of my pills. I have this little pill container, like Advil, melatonin, some Band-Aids, uh, migraine medication, because ugh, I get migraines. I have my keys then. Could I be more basic? I know, everyone and their freaking dog has one of these fluff things. I guess I am basic, I don't, I don't really care. If it brings me joy, I want it. I have my wet brush here, which you guys, this is the coolest thing ever because this is a glow in the dark wet brush. I always keep a reusable tote bag in my bag because a lot of places you go now, you actually have to pay for bags and I'm cheap. It also totally matches my purse, which <laughs> I like. I have gum, I have my wallet in here. It's from the brand Monkey and I just, oh man, it's just iridescent and it's awesome. I'm, I'm also not gonna go over what's in my wallet because you know what's in my wallet. Nothing different from your wallet, except this time I have actual cash in my wallet. To be fair, there are only ones and it looks like I'm going to a strip club, but I have accomplished adulting within the premises of my wallet upon this day, thank you. I have a little Totoro pouch. I always keep my little headphones and I just keep just a ton of hair ties. Next I have my change purse in here. It's a champagne bottle. Quarters, guys. I mean, when have quarters not come in handy? Then in here I have my makeup bag. And my makeup bag is just one of those kind of freebies from Estee Lauder. Okay, in this front pocket I kind of tend to keep everything that I like to be able to grab. So I've been really into this lip color by Anastasia and it is the color Soft Lilac. Hair ties a Chanel makeup wipe. Honestly, I've had this in my bag for years and I just like it because it says Chanel. Like, let's get real here, right? Uh, I'll probably never use this, but God, it looks fancy living in my makeup bag. <laughs> I have a tiny little nail file. My favorite lip pencil, which is from Rimmel London and it's the Exaggerate Full On Lip Color in the shade East End Snob. And then finally, I just have two little perfume samples. This one is Oyedo from Diptyque, and this one is Tainted Love, I think, from Tokyo, Tokyo Dark Milk, Tokyo Milk. I don't, I don't remember. And then in the big compartment here, I have my perfume, Love and Roses Beauty Mist Face Spray. I also have a Clinique moisturizer in here. I have this baby doll kiss and blush from YSL. I have from L'Oreal Julianne's Nude Color. Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. Bauhaus from Kat Von D. A sample of my BB cream from Dr. Jar. This Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. It's perfect to throw in your bag because it's a concealer. You can use it as foundation. It's really versatile. I have a toothbrush, a mini Colgate toothpaste, and then some really embarrassing things. What are these embarrassing things that I have in my makeup bag? Oh, I will tell you, they are ketchup. I keep ketchup in my makeup bag because I, I'm trash. I'm trashy as can be. I also keep some little Starbucks Vias in there. I take my coffee pretty seriously. So that's it for my makeup bag. Now we're gonna go more in depth in here. I have these little wipe things because hands get dirty, you don't have a napkin, you don't have toilet paper. My mace. In this little pocket here, I have a Sharpie, 
a tie to go pen, a normal pen, and a minty mouth spray. I have a little mini mirror. And then this is just like one of those like little like na wet napkin things you get at restaurants if you get takeout. This is like a cell phone pocket here. My phone's just sitting next to me right now, but my phone case, since some of you might ask, is from the brand Sonics and it's just got stars all over it. It kind of makes your phone rose gold. Okay, and then in here, I have some lip balms. I have my Dynaplatz lip balm, which has kind of become my fave. My favorite night balm from Bath and Body Works. And a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Do you guys ever feel like these are kind of horrendous? It's, it's like a little too intense. My sunglasses, I have two pairs actually in here. These are so old, but these are my favorite sunglasses ever. These are from, what are they? Karen Walker and they're called the Deep Freeze. These sunglasses are just my favorite ever. And this was seriously, these were the first kind of luxury purchase I ever made for myself. And I've had these for like seven years now and they look great. And then I also just have my black Ray-Ban aviators. So then finally we're moving on to my little zip pocket at the middle of my purse. I have tissues. So, I was on the train one day going somewhere, obviously. That's what you do on the train, isn't it? I had the worst allergy attack of my entire life. Guess what? It was rush hour and I could not stop sneezing. It, it was, it was very, it was, it was very fun for me. From that day on, I was not caught without my own tissues. I have a little extra iPhone charger. It gives your phone a charge when you press this button here. I keep some hydrocortisone in here because, um, hashtag youthful, hashtag um, free spirited. I just, I get really bad hives and it helps me a lot. Also in here, I have this little pouch and within this little pouch, I keep a headphone splitter that looks like a tree branch, a little cord that plugs into your phone and plugs into the car. Oh my God, let's just take a handful because this is out of control. I have an inhaler because again, hashtag youthful, hashtag free spirit. <laughs> nope, not this girl. I say as I hold a uh, emergency flashlight beacon and whistle in my hand. <laughs> then in this next handful, well, <laughs> Just, get, let's just take a moment for this handful. I have Tums because again, we went over this. So me, I am so free spirited. You know me. Three tampons. And then I have an extra set of keys to my apartment on this little carabiner that I, I just, I don't know, I really like a good carabiner, huh? Any carabiner enthusiasts out there? I also have a sleep mask in here that I uh, definitely did not steal from United Airlines, no. <laughs> No. I have what I like to call my emergency kit. I'm gonna try to keep this quick because this video is getting a little out of control. Like a good old back team, you know? Everyone needs a good old back team. A teeny tiny tape measure, cotton swabs, matches, just in case you ever need to start a fire and you never know. A lighter, just in case the matches don't work. Liquid band-aid stuff. A teeny tiny pack of Colgate toothpaste that I did not take from an airport lounge, no, in bulk, like a handful of them, no, I would not do that. I have morals, a rubber band, a baggie, antibiotic ointment, alcohol wipe, another one of those like wet hand washy thingies, the clinical term, more alcohol prep pads, more alcohol prep pads, a blister band-aid, earplugs, because you will not ever not have earplugs once you've had an experience of staying in a hostel in the middle of Barcelona where people are literally partying all night and all you wanna do is sleep. That's all you wanna do. You don't wanna party, you don't ask for much. You just wanna sleep. Earplugs, boom. A cough drop, another nail file, a wine opener. You never know, it's also like, let's be real here, makes a nice little weapon. I'm all about that self-defense, y'all. Mini scissors a sewing kit, another toothpaste, tweezers, some nail clippers, and some of these like floss pick things. That's all that's in my bag. If that's what you came for, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna do a bag review now, so you uh, feel free to watch, obviously, but if you're not into that, I totally get you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you next week. All right, bag ladies and gentlemen, they've left now. We're free to our devices. <laughs> I, have the Fendi Toujours bag in medium size, and it's in what I think is called Black Cherry. 
but I can't really be sure. It's kind of a raspberry color. Now, I did do an unboxing of this, and if you would like to check that out, it's linked right down below and right here. If you wanna see me unboxing this, you can do so. So a basic overview of the bag. It's like a Safiano kind of structured, rugged material on the outside panel, and then a very soft leather on this side. It also has the kind of, you know, classic Fendi tag, which you can remove if you'd like. It has top handles, and then it has a strap here, which is definitely not a crossbody strap. If that's something you're looking for in a bag, it is a little difficult sometimes to keep this on my shoulder, but I really do think that this has a more mature look than a crossbody bag. I don't mind some of its downfalls. You can actually take this strap off somehow, but I think you just pop this little bit out of the leather and that strap comes off, but I'm never gonna take it off. In the actual bag, it has two partitions and a zip pocket a phone pocket and what I'd like to call a pen pocket. It also buttons up here if you want a little extra safety. But truth be told, I never use the button because my purse is just too full. The interior is striped and then it has this suede around here. It also has five feet on the bottom. I have been using this bag for months now. So positives of this bag. I think it's absolutely beautiful. This exterior here is so rugged. I was so afraid to have this bag because it's really like my first designer bag that I ever bought. I was being really, really careful with it. And I eventually just realized that I'm not the type of person who can be really careful with a bag. I started using it, just really using it. I had it out in the rain. I kind of, I just treat it like my bag because I'm not going to enjoy something if I can't really use it. The way that it's held up is amazing to me. I did mention the rain and something that freaked me out at first was that if you get rain on the soft side of the bag, it will discolor temporarily, but it does go away. I thought it would be the type of thing that would scratch if I like ran a ring over it or you know, that kind of thing. Not at all. I am a real person who lives a very real life and uses public transportation and throws it in grocery carts and goes on airplanes. This has held up so well. As far as any wear that I've seen, one thing that kind of bothers me, you can see right here, it's starting to indent there. That is a wear spot on this bag that I'm not too fond of. But really, other than that, everything is in perfect condition and I have used this every single day for months now. The bag is already slightly heavy on its own, but but when you fill it, it's just about the heaviest bag I've ever owned. There's always trade-offs for everything and I, I don't really mind it anymore. Really overall, I think that this bag is really worth it. If, if you're into bags and you're looking at this bag, I really don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Obviously there were a few points I made in this that maybe aren't the best qualities, but it's really great because it's like a kind of a day to night, work, school, everyday life kind of bag. It can really transition through phases of your life, I feel. It looks delicate, but it really is so rugged that this is a bag that you'll honestly like pass down to your grandchildren. Anyway, if I forgot to cover anything or you do have any specific questions about it, I'm more than happy to answer your bag questions because I did put a lot of research into this purse before I bought it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because I just, I really appreciate that. And subscribe if you'd like to hang out with me on a weekly basis. I hope you guys are having a really nice day and I really hope to see you in the next video. Okay, bye.